Welcome to the Spirit Guide Daily, daily messages that will cross your path when they are meant to. These are timeless meetings. The Magical Nordic Deck or the Nordic Magical Deck is bringing you predictive cards. We've got an Art Oracle. We've got a Goddess of the Moon Oracle as well. Let's get going here. And hey, please don't forget to subscribe because it helps my channel. If you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below. And if you like the reading, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Here we go. Let's see what the or uh, the tarot card looks like for today. I love this deck. Okay, I have the Ten of Cups in reverse, which is, boy, things just kind of aren't going your way right now. And I think you feel a little bit at a loss for what to do. This is a little bit of a going through the motions energy, this lack of fulfillment. You don't even know what you're pursuing at this particular point. Comes out with the Page of Cups in reverse, which can be something surprising. It can also be an apology. And that comes out with the Queen of Cups in the upright, which is that Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. Um, listen, as you're, you, you, um, there's, <laughs> keep going. When you're not sure what you're supposed to do, you just keep trying. And that's what this, like, uh, basically this Ten of Cups in reverse and this Page of Cups in reverse is, is like you're just, you're, you're searching for the lost thread of the plot of your life. And it's been going on for a little bit. And this particular energy says that more is, there's more emotional fulfillment available to you very soon. You're likely to hear from a friend by the end of the day. They have something that is good news for you. And uh, again, it's something, it might be small, but it is something they're trying to encourage you. Like your guides can tell that you feel a little bit at loose ends right now. That's what I've really got is this energy of like right now you're like, Ugh, still more. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. I'm not even sure what I'm doing any longer. You're still doing something. You're still doing something. It's not a test. It really genuinely isn't. It is that things take the time they need to develop. And there is a development that is being hinted at here. We have realization with the waxing crescent moon and one came out with it. So protection, which is the waning crescent. So we've got the waning and the waxing crescent. Um, this is trying to tell you that within a moon cycle and like uh, uh, these are timeless, but there has just been a new, new moon. That means within the next two weeks that there is a development for you that will bring you a greater sense of fulfillment. And if you feel a little bit lost right now, just keep going. Just keep going. Why do things take so blazing long sometimes? Because it involves other people's free will. Other people like take their time to follow their guidance sometimes. It's just I have somebody who's making a difference in your life and it will make you much happier. It will make you much happier. That Ten of Cups in reverse is not a card of unhappiness specifically. It's a card of, to me, feeling lost. Like you've lost a feeling of like, what's, what's the point here? And it's not a depressive energy. It is a bewildered energy. Um, something is developing. It will see like full fruition within this two week period. Remember, you are protected. And you're going to get word on something today that's going to make you feel that way again. I have embraced your inner and outer beautiful qualities from the, the art deck. Um, people react to your inner self more than they do your outer self, no matter what you look like. Who we, who we really are is what people react to. And like I said, I have this kind of, you know, 40 days in the desert type of energy where you just... You're not even sure what you're doing. You just know that you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. There is information of a, like, it's, it's uplifting, it's surprising, it's, it fills your heart. And it will see fruition within a two-week period. Meaning, you know, maybe you've got, like, an offer on something that you'll be signing uh, paperwork on the dotted line in two weeks. But there's something very... Like I said, it's a surprise that is emotionally fulfilling. And you do get some, you get an inkling of it today, if even if you don't get the full picture on it. I love this particular card because it has, this is a bird carrying a, a, a woman within a nest. Remember the, the whole thing with Psalm 91, you know, uh, being taken underneath the wings in order to be protected? Even though right now it feels like 
well, I was on a spiritual journey, but they must have let me off that bus because I have no idea what's happening and I might just be on my own. You're not on your own. You're not on your own. And soon you will understand that there is, this is more of a beautiful journey than you think it is. Um, again, I, I have this thing where it could be because of the light levels of the season, but like the, the morning times are like, pay attention to that. You're a little low when you're getting up. You're a little bit low, you're a little bit lost, and you're coming more into a powerful and a vibrant energy by about midday. It also looks like in the evening time, you do get word on something that is developing that will make you feel like somebody's given you the map back on your journey, okay? That was the message for today. I hope that that news reaches you swiftly and brings with it great joy. Take care. Be well. If you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below. Please keep in mind that is the only way to book me. Take care.